Hi, I'm Carmel Deverdeen. I believe food shouldn't just taste good, but it should look awesome as well. Join me as I bring my kitchen to yours. This is the DB Kitchen. Now then, Christmas means poultry. Unless, of course, you're a vegan, but don't worry, we've got you covered later. In Hong Kong, obviously we're famous for the Peking duck options as well, but we celebrate with goose. Check for any feathers, any big ones you can yank out. Using a toothpick or cake tester or any stabby thing, make lots of little holes, particularly around the breast and the thigh. In order to get our skin nice and crispy, the first step is to put it in the fridge for at least 12 hours. Rub some coarse salt into the skin of the bird. Pop a couple of sheets of kitchen towel over the breast meat just to keep the skin dry. Turn it breast side down. Now to semi-spatchcock your bird, whether a goose, a chicken or a duck, from the neck end, cut along one side of the spine towards the middle of the bird. Then cut down the other side, spin the bird around, and cut up from the tail end to meet the cuts you've already made. Keep the bones and all the trimmings, we'll use them to make a really rich gravy. If you're cooking a fattier duck or certainly a goose, boil a kettle over the sink. Very carefully, pour the hot water directly over the skin of the bird to loosen all that lovely fat. Season with salt and Sichuan pepper, roughly chop the veg and pop it in the centre of a wire rack. Place the goose on top and put the whole thing over a baking tray to collect the juice and the fat. Okay, so it's Christmas morning. Our goose has been resting and it's nice and, uh, nice and dry on the skin. Let's get cracking with the rest of the recipe. Mix up a glaze and baste it all over the skin of the goose. And we'll keep applying this throughout your cook. Preheat the oven to 130 Celsius, 265 Fahrenheit. I love my little kitchen gadgets, so if you're like me and using an oven thermometer with a set temperature, set that to 71 degrees Celsius. We'll end up with rest time getting to 74 degrees. Check your goose is up to 71 C, then take it out of the oven. Give it a little foil tent and rest. We can re-crisp the skin right up before we serve. For a bit of drama, serve your goose whole. For the full recipe, please go to my website, thedbkitchen.com and check out our Instagram page at the DB Kitchen.